Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM dumpster fire. Today we're back for another top MLM fails video and this is 115th episode. Today we have a little bit of everything. I don't actually remember like what any of these videos are because you know me. I mostly blind react to everything. Um, but now I see we have Amare Rep, Juice Plus, Lavelle, Q Sciences. So it's going to be a fun one. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. Before we get into the video, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you would like to support my channel in a nice free way that's the best way to do that and speaking of support thank you to all my channel members I appreciate you guys thank you so much for being here and without further ado let's just get into this let's start with the Amari rep I have to mute this one because of the music but it says why did you leave Beachbody after four and a half years as a coach and then she says I got sick of my team not winning and doing things for free wow okay we love when they admit that in a certain context Company, no one was earning money it is a little bit just a little bit ironical because across almost all of marketing companies 99% of people approximately never make any profit so it doesn't matter if it's Beachbody or Amare things are no different in Amare for her downline she may be getting money but her downline is still not winning and they're still working for free but we love when they say the truth at least next one's a Juice Plus Han she's one of the top coaches in Juice Plus for name's Danny. We've covered her once or twice before. Ongle dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy toot ta. She says, when someone tells you it's a pyramid scheme and then you ask them to explain what a pyramid scheme is and then she's like, oh, they don't even know what the pyramid scheme is. This is another ironic one because usually when an MLM rep tries to explain what a pyramid scheme is, they always get it wrong. So this could be like reverse mocking, I guess. We've had some good theories in the past. Uh, my all-time favorite one was that pyramid schemes are a beautiful business model where you can earn more than your boss. That's definitely my time favorite. Let me know down below though if you have any better pyramid scheme definitions from an MLM Han. So her caption says every time as if just people just don't even know what pyramid schemes are and uh, you know they're just accusing MLMs of being pyramid schemes. When like I said in, a, in all actuality MLM reps are the one that usually define pyramid schemes completely incorrectly. Okay so let's move on to Lavelle. This lady is in a very good mood from what it sounds like um, and it's about nine minutes long so let's let's see what she's gonna tell us about Lavelle today hello hello it's Keisha nice to meet you happy freaking Saturday oh my gosh I am just so excited to pop on and share a few things um, that I am grateful for today uh, I've been kind of trickling in some gratitude into my uh, stories recently and I was challenged to go live to share some specifics which is like nothing for me because I love sharing my gratitude. Um, I really worked on that after starting this business and that's actually one of them is just learning to be like celebrating the moments and feeling the gratitude in the moment, especially in the hard moments. Um, but that is not one of the topics I wanted to share. Um, I was challenged to share the three things I'm grateful for this business for uh, in hopes that maybe I spark that for somebody else in hopes that maybe I can share some of the the of my story with you for those who are looking for opportunities to earn an additional income online. Um, I know there's a lot of options out there and so I want to share what impacted me the most um, so that you know maybe I might relate a little bit more to you. Um, the first thing again this is kind of ironic that she's gonna share this and that she said make extra income online where the majority of people that join any multi-level marketing company out there never make any profit so it's so easy to prove and show to people that the majority of people never make any money i'm gonna link down below a few income disclosure statements so you can take a look at just how many people never make any profit in those mlm companies and like i said earlier it really doesn't matter which mlm company it is the income disclosure statements show very similar numbers some are worse than others but one thing that's common for all of them is the majority of people never makes any profit and this was proven by the FTC as well all the articles from the FTC are down below in the description if you want to take a look so it's kind of bizarre to me that they're going online and saying things like that that are so easily debunked foremost I'm really really grateful for the things that I've learned in this business like starting an online business taught me so much about like 
you know, networking and social media and marketing and all of these things that I just wasn't really quite a pro at. Um, you know, I, I've always been what I like to call a professional friend maker, being that I've been a server for the majority of my life and career. I've always found myself in the restaurant just making friends and all of that. And I didn't realize that I had an opportunity to use those skills, to use my heart and my soul and my ability to connect with others and make it a profession in a way and you know use that to to continue to meet people all over the world it's been super super cool but along those same lines like learning how to run a, a network marketing business on social media taught me to be more disciplined when it came to my other businesses so i became an even better business owner when it came to our film business as well as um, my makeup artistry and all of those things and it was kind of a cool way to segue using um learning you know some things in other ways right like i feel like my hair is crazy let's let's just go on ahead i feel like maybe i should wear this as like a, a spiky crown what do you think my my poor my poor hair it's fine you know how it goes like day day three hair wash uh no wash day you know <laughs> um second like one of the second things that i i and i feel like i've been talking about business a lot lately so i hope that this is well received and there's a reason why i've been talking about business so much lately and it's because it's been impacting my life so much that i feel like i need to share i see if you people popping on as you pop on say hello just I won't promise I won't freaking like call you out unless you want me to you feel free to let me know what you're up to this fine Saturday um second though first being that I've gotten an opportunity to learn and utilize skills in so many different ways to grow more as a human and as a business owner and I love I love being challenged and having new knowledge right that that challenge is always really uh driving it's it's it makes me feel like fulfilled to always be learning because there's always going to be mundane things and everything that you do right but the the push to become better has always been um something that allows me to thrive as a human so that's been one but second as i was saying i talked about okay funny that she says that because you're literally cold messaging people like you're literally copy pasting cold messages to random strangers online a lot of the time when you join an mlm talk about a mundane boring ass job which again it's not even a job because you're not getting regular paychecks also you're not a business owner when you join an MLM in this case Lavelle you're an independent contractor for Lavelle it's not your own business you're not your own boss I business a lot because I just earned a uh, another trip and I'm really freaking excited for it and that's something that I'm also really grateful for like I I love traveling and that was one of the most appealing things that I personally found when looking at um, you know opportunities to earn money online with working with Lavelle I love that they spoil people towards the bottom if you will and i hate that you like that idea but when you look at some of these other opportunities like they keep all of the big stuff at the top and it almost feels like you can never actually get there right and so that was one thing that i was like that's super cool and i've been earning the trip since just a few months into my business i want to say it was six and that's something super fulfilling to me because I love experiencing new things. I love going new places. I love seeing new things. And that is really, really fulfilling for me. Yeah. So happy to hear that for you. What about the majority of your downline though that never makes any profit and doesn't earn any of the trips? I don't know if she's actually high up in Lavelle. I've never seen her before. So also take whatever she's saying with a grain of salt as well. Uh, to earn three trips a year with them. And that's something that I am hyper focused on helping others earn this year because I just truly don't think people get enough of an opportunity to travel. Um, so if you are feeling like you don't travel enough, put the word travel in the comments. I would love, love to talk anything travel with you and help plant the bug for you, like help you get out more. Um, and if you're interested i would love to show you how i did it like it's it may seem difficult but like i said they keep it towards the bottom so that it's easier to achieve because they want people to stick around they want people to feel appreciated and that is one of them and the cool part about that is that the the trip simultaneously is the same rank just the second one that you start earning an auto bonus and from what i understand car payments are friggin' expensive right now but that's a whole nother route of 
of like wormhole that I won't go down. But that just brings me to the third thing that I'm thankful for. I was able to reappropriate my auto bonus to help pay our mortgage in some of the hardest times in the last couple of years. When I found this opportunity, restaurants were shut down and I didn't have another way to earn income because I couldn't do makeup, couldn't be in people's faces, we couldn't film. Social media marketing was the only way that I could earn an income at that time. And to not have a need for a fancy freaking car and to have the opportunity to shift that in the way that helped me the most was super cool. So auto bonus, super cool that you could reappropriate that in a way, in a different way that is that is more serving for you. But even more, Lavelle spoils us all the time with um, bonuses. And right now they have so many bonuses on the table. One being a dollar for dollar match bonus that they're doing. Um, if you want info on that, I actually can't share it publicly, but I will give you all the nitty gritty details. If you just drop bonus in the comments, I'll send you all of the goodies. Um, but it's super cool because the last time they did this was in 2001 and it's, it's an identical bonus opportunity. And I earned a fat freaking bonus that year and it changed everything for us and it was so cool to have had that type of reward for just simply offering solutions to help people with their health like I can't think of anything better like I am obviously such a service-hearted individual that that's like so fulfilling to me like yes money's cool but like helping people and earning money is just really really cool okay yeah but tell us again how exactly are you helping people when the majority of them are like i said not making any profit and they're not earning the trips that you say that you're earning but back then in 2021 the amount of families impacted by that bonus was substantial I remember, yes, we were able to really hyper-focus on our film business. I was able to hyper-focus on my makeup artistry, but other people were able to, you know, pay for private school for their kids, or they were able to buy their house, or they were able to have a wedding. It was so cool in 2021 to see all these people uh, earn these bonuses and lock in these these huge dreams of theirs because of just simply sharing a product. And that's why I really love working with Lavelle. They absolutely spoil us. The products are phenomenal. Like I'm not seeing these same type of results anywhere else. And that just helps me feel more secured in what I'm doing. Not to mention, um, I love making this kind of impact. And I cannot wait to help spread the love and spread the joy and spread these amazing bonuses with more people. Um, so if, if any of this sounds fam uh, like helpful to you, I would love to send you some info. Uh, no, no, like necessary, like purchases necessary. I won't bug you if it's not for you. Like I just want to share the opportunity and these options with more people this year because I think it's important uh, to have multiple streams of income, and I think it's important to do things that you really enjoy, and I think it's important to constantly be learning new things, um, and honestly, finally, just find ways to to stay above with all of this inflation and all of this crazy talk about it, recession, uh, to have options is the way to go. So I just wanted to share that I'm super thankful for this business, for what it's done for me, but I'm also very thankful for those of you who have chosen to trust, put your trust in me and let me help you with some of these goals of yours, whether it be with your finances, whether it be with your health goals, whether it be with your hair goals. I just very much appreciate you because I wouldn't have gotten this far if it wasn't for you. So thank you for being here. And again, if any of this sounds interesting, don't hesitate to reach out and have a happy Saturday. Thanks for being here. I mean, it's nice that she actually admitted and thanked the people in her downline because she definitely wouldn't be where she is if it wasn't for her downline because their hard work helps her earn money. Next one is just a pick from AQ Sciences Hun and she says POV, a point of view. When someone tries to tell me the grass isn't greener at a new opportunity. Uh, so that was a hint that this lady is going to leave her MLM. I don't actually know if this is old. I know that she was somewhere else and then she moved to Q Sciences. So I don't know if this was before she moved to Q Sciences or after and now she's 
seeing a new MLM that she wants to go to. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her and we're gonna see what's up on her Instagram in the near future. Let's take a watch at the other one. This one, this lady tends to be very unhinged. She's Q Sciences as well. And we watched a lot of her opportunity calls and training calls and it's always a little bit wild, so buckle up. What's up you guys, Mika here and I titled this live slow and steady will always win whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in your life. Okay, you guys, I have a lot of my... Oh my god, please stop mixing that thing. Oh, it's so loud. I have a lot of my mind, so I just figured I might as well go live because then my stories are too long. So, whatever it is that you're working towards, you need to understand that slow and steady will help you get there instead of burning yourself out trying to get instant results you guys we live in a time where we start something new and we start in general this is a good advice okay yeah you can't you shouldn't burn yourself out you can go slow and steady make sure you rest you take care of your mental health while you're trying to achieve great things right however when we remember that she's in an mlm she's talking to other q sciences rep but you're in a business model where the majority of people never make any profit and the business model is set up against you it doesn't matter if you go into it all in and get burned out and it doesn't matter if you take a while and take it slow and steady because you have 99% of chances of never ever making any profit in it it's the business model and it has nothing to do with how much you work how long but I guess this is her thing of like slow down take it slowly and do not leave my downline anytime soon getting frustrated right away because we don't get the hang of it but you need to understand when you're doing anything new you're going to get good at it only by making those mistakes and taking messy action, okay? So, I remember when I used to go to school, I used to burn myself out every semester trying to do more classes so that I could finish faster and then I would end up not even be able to really concentrate on one because I just had so many classes, you guys, and I'm just a person that, you know, it takes me a little bit longer to learn things than others and that's fine. Okay, so I was burning myself out. Okay, so you need to understand that there is no miracle. You need to go out there and work for the things that you want in your life. Whatever it is, you want to start a business, you want to go back to school, you want to change your career, you want to be a better significant other, you want to be a better parent, a better whatever. You need to go out there and you need to work for it. Okay, and the only way you're going to do that is by taking messy action and doing it, even when you don't feel like it. Okay? You need to develop persistence, you guys. And I read this in the book that I'm reading right now, um, Think Rich. Oh, I forgot. Think and Grow Rich. Um, so how to develop persistence? Number one, you have to have a definite purpose, okay? Backed up by a burning desire for its fulfillment. Number two, you have to have a definite plan, okay? Expressed with constant action you guys number three you have to have a mind so closed and so strong when it comes to negative negative people discouraging people people that are gonna discourage you people that influence you and they're gonna try to tell you no that's not a good idea and that is, that is including your family your friends and people that you know acquaintances you guys and for you need okay i mean i know we all know this and we all repeat this over and over again in these videos but your family and friends are not trying to discourage you yeah maybe they are but for a reason not because they're jealous or because they don't want you to succeed they either know that it's a product-based pyramid scheme in my opinion my guess uh they i don't know that it's really shady and the majority of people never make any profit they don't want to see you join this business where you're not gonna get anything in return they don't want to see you hustle for free in a shady business model that's all you need to find a friend or more that will encourage you to follow through with this both the plan and the purpose you guys i finally found my purpose i finally found a plan and i finally am finally became open-minded to new opportunities but i finally became so strong on the mindset that i close out all those negative people i am in control of my environment my mind my thoughts my actions my decisions and my life and i finally took over it you guys i finally stopped feeling bad for myself and i said enough was enough okay any journey any process it's any 
any journey is going to be hard okay and it's going to take a process you have to learn how to enjoy enjoy that process because you're always going to be a work in progress no matter what okay even though i don't go to school you guys i'm still a student i'm always learning i'm always growing okay and i love it the day that you stop learning is the day that you pretty much all right okay i have come a long way in my health my fitness my business because i have i have worked okay you guys this takes work on a very strong mindset on a very strong foundation and i work towards this every single day to become strong to become better in all parts of my life because at the end it's all connected okay and so many people tell me i wish i could do what you do you can you need to put yourself first you need to put your body first you need to put your health first because if you're not healthy if you're not strong how can you take care of your other ones your loved ones how can you take care of the people that look up to you how can you be that great role model that people are looking up to okay okay you need to understand that small daily wins will make those big results and gain that big success okay you guys this is all fine but it's the fact that she is in a pyramid scheme in my opinion it's the fact that she is hustling herself this lady is not successful she tries to fake it but she really isn't and it's just heartbreaking to see her keep trying and her motivating her downline to keep trying when none of them are winning none of them are making any profit in q sciences but you need to celebrate them and you need to see them and you need to acknowledge them and be happy for them because without those small wins you're not going to be able to get to those big huge goals that you're trying to get to okay you need to break it down and you need to stay strong you need to keep pushing through the highs through the lows through the goods through the bads okay through the great weeks through the weeks that are not planned and schnit keeps happening you need to stay so strong up here and so strong and believe in yourself in your plans and your goals and just keep working towards them you guys i know it's easier said than done but once you believe in yourself and you start doing this you start working on yourself the messy action you're going to see the difference you're going to see what you've been wanting it's on the other side of fear it's on the other side of your comfort zone okay you just have to choose day one you choose your one day or your day one okay and you need to understand you're going to fail but you have the ability to get back up and keep pushing forward to get better at the things that you want to get better at okay so whether you want to do this health and wellness journey with me and you want to swap those supplements you need to add a supplement to your journey to your life you've never tried supplements dm me okay dm me wellness i will send you my assessment so that i can recommend the right products we can work on your budget and we can get you started right away this is going to be the year you need to stop giving up on yourself you need to stop quitting when it gets hard and you need to go slow and steady towards those goals okay because this is another thing that really bothers me when they start saying i'm gonna help you with the supplements that you need to be taking it's like you don't have any certifications you're not an expert you're not a health professional if you think you are lacking some supplements vitamins or whatever you need to do a blood test probably you just actually need to see your doctor you should never self-medicate and you should also never ever listen to a random lady on the internet telling you which supplements you and based on q sciences and how these mlm reps tend to take a shit ton of supplements she would probably give you like a bunch of them that you probably don't even need because there is no overnight success in whatever it is that you're trying to do you guys okay and if you're looking to add that extra stream of income to start your business to work for yourself to work on yourself let's see if this company this business opportunity is a good fit for you okay because whether you've been in this industry before and it didn't work whether you are in this industry and you're feeling burned out and you're tired and you don't feel valued let's chat and let me show you how different it is here okay and whether you've never been in in this industry before you guys the systems the plug and play systems we have here the training the resources okay and we're going to do this together our compensation plan you guys has just been enhanced three different ways and they do this to help the new people that come in to see success okay you guys 
let me break it down to you dm me comp plan i'll send you a video or maybe we can chat our products you guys are holistic focus they're meant to be absorbed they're meant to help you from the inside out okay i've been working on growing my hair for years and i finally see the huge difference okay and it all started because i started changing my supplements i started working on myself and it's I feel like this is the time when I need to flaunt my hair. It doesn't fit in yet. You can't see the end of it. It's so, oh, look how nice it is. If she's trying to grow her hair for years and that's all that she has, she's got a tiny little ponytail in the back. Maybe she's cutting her hair, I don't know, but she said she wants to grow it. You're either coloring it way too often for it to be able to grow. You're not cutting it maybe often enough for it to grow. Or there might be something else. I don't know. I'm not a hair expert. I used to have short blonde hair. If you go back to my uh, old videos you would see this was two and a half years ago when I started my channel my hair was up to here it was bleach blonde the only thing that I changed is I stopped bleaching it so now I dye it brown every three to four months and I cut my highlights maybe I think every two months or so I'm not taking any supplements for hair growth the only thing that I did was just stop dyeing it and start cutting the ends often enough so that it's healthy and it can keep growing started doing the messy action slow and steady all right so we have those five pillars you guys we focus on family faith fitness friends and finances okay and we t she just said your family wants to see you go down like they don't want you to be successful and whatever they're discouraging you from joining your business but this business is all about caring for your family and friends that's a little bit contradictory I tend not to work on sundays yesterday i didn't work so i put a couple of hours aside to work today get my workout in get back to some dms but the rest of the day i'm gonna be busy creating memories with my family okay so Whatever it is, you guys, whether you have a career, you're a stay-at-home mom like me, you want more, you want that change, let's chat. Okay, we have so much here. We have the FFM movement, which is financial freedom movement. The day that you sign up, you get access to a financial coach. You don't have to make a sale. You don't have to bring a business partner in. This is a benefit, not an incentive, because here it's about gaining true financial freedom, being debt-free. This is a debt-free program, okay? Yes, don't get me wrong. I want to travel the world. I want to have a nicer pool and a nicer house and nicer this, but having food on the, the on our tables, having money for necessity is a lot more important. And it's all about doing it at the right time, slow and steady, you guys. So many people come into this industry and they start making 10 times what they were making before, you know, and that's awesome. But they don't know, they don't learn the financial literacy, how to invest, how to save. And so they start spending all this money as it's coming. The next thing they know, they're in the same situation they were before, if not worse. Burnt out, tired, okay? It's all about balance, prioritizing, being consistent, being determined, being persistent on your goals. And just finding what works for you. And once you find that, you got to go and you get got to give it your all. I finally found where I belong, you guys. I started my business in 2019 and I said yes to this industry so that I could work on myself, so that I could stay accountable on my goals, on my fitness, on my mindset goals, but so that I could make money on my phone, work for myself, work on myself. But more importantly, I've always wanted to help others believe in themselves, work on their selves, their mindset, their she's in a totally wrong industry if that's what she wants to do because in my opinion in mlms you're just scamming people out of money and if she started in 2019 four years later she's still trying still hustling and she's not successful that's just it's so sad wellness their fitness their health because if they don't nobody else will do it and i've seen what could happen when you do not put yourself first and you do not put in the work for yourself okay it's you versus you don't worry about anybody else but your goals and your dreams okay and if you find yourself wishing and wanting for somebody else's life for those things in your life you need to understand that you can make that part of your a part of your life but you need to work for it okay it's not given and rent for success is due every single day okay I come out here and I share my story because I want to show you that if I can do this, you can do it too. 
and messy action is better than perfection, you guys. When I first started here, if I said a word wrong, if my Spanglish came out, if my mocos came out, whatever, I would edit it, spend hours editing my videos, and I wasn't getting any, anything done because I just wanted it to be perfect. Once I said, screw being perfect, I'm just going out there being me, being who I am, and sharing my story, everything changed, you guys. I'm starting to find the people that align with me and that are like-minded, and I want to be surrounded around those people that want more and that have similar goals like me. And that's exactly where I'm putting myself, because at the end, you are in control of your life, your thoughts, your environment, your actions everything that you do you can't control the situations that are thrown your way but you can't control the way you handle them so if you're tired of giving up on yourself you're tired of being stuck or in the same place 20 years later because i don't know about you but i'm already in my 30s let's chat and let's see if this is the change that you've been looking for business or fitness wellness and working on yourself all right gotta go blow my nose you guys have a great rest of your sunday if you have any questions you already know dm me ask me those questions i'm an open book okay that's enough i think <laughs> she let the lady go blow out her nose i think we've heard more than enough i guess there you go anti-mlm people don't know how to define a pyramid scheme so please don't forget to leave your favorite incorrect definition of a pyramid scheme that you have heard an mlm rep say i think that will be very fun and thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far really appreciate yeah appreciate you don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you would like to support my channel that's the best way to do that and big shout out to all my channel members as always thank you guys for being here and i will see you all in the next one bye